The church is the bride of Christ. We see this imagery used in Ephesians and Revelation. Jesus Christ believes that divorce is bad, right? Therefore, he will never divorce us. Oh, that's point one. Wow, we're doing great. Point one, this is amazing. Jesus will never divorce you. You are the bride of Christ. Because divorce is bad, he will never forsake you or leave you. He does not view you as a temporary convenience. He loves you through thick and thin, sickness and health. That's point one. Okay, point two. This means also that if we leave him, we are committing adultery. Oh. Our identity is found in this relationship. It's found in this marriage. This, this, our identity is found in Christ alone. I mean that. I know it gets said a lot, but who? Christ alone. It means that the church cannot separate from Jesus and his gospel. It's why we are to grow closer to who together? To Jesus together. If we don't do this, we are sinning. Jesus is committed to us. He will never leave us or forsake us. But if we are out there worshiping idols, materialism, beauty, money, success, fame, naturalism, self-worth, looking for our identity in other relationships, our relationships with our wives and our husbands and our significant others, if looking through our relationships with our boss, all of that, if those things are our identity, we are abusing our relationship with Jesus.